एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम In part one, we did uh, understand uh, what is uh, Lagrange method of multiplier. We did the uh, one question also. Now I am taking one real life problem, and we'll see how Lagrange method is helpful to uh, decide or to judge or to come to the conclusion that how we can uh, solve a real life problem of maxima and minima. Welcome to S Chand Academy. I am Dr. Seema Thakran. If you want to study this uh, method, uh, which is Lagrange method of multipliers for max finding maxima and minima on certain conditions, you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The e-book link is given in the description box below. So my problem is question: a rectangular solid that can be inscribed in a sphere a rectangular solid of maximum volume that can be inscribed in a sphere is a cube point is this problem is saying that if there is a sphere this is the center and just assume some radius of the sphere as r if there is a sphere and you want to insert any uh, rectangular solid inside that sphere then this uh, problem is saying that it will 100% be a cube it cannot be a rectangular solid but if you are suppose you are uh, inserting you are just uh, in, uh, inserting one rectangular uh, picture or uh, the solid inside a sphere it will 100% be of maximum volume and it will be a cube everybody knows that what is a cube cube has all sides equal length equal to breadth equal to height but in rectangular solid this is not the case so what i'll do first i'll uh, i'll take up one rectangular solid and i'll see at what point it should be maximum volume and ultimately the result should come out to be that it is a cube and inside a sphere i i have to consider this problem so what i am doing i am just taking one rectangular solid as you can see inside the cube this how we can make it so this is not a cube so uh, if it is not a cube it means length breadth and height all are unequal so let 2x 2y 2z are the length breadth and height of the rectangular solid that is inscribed in the sphere let the radius of the because if there is sphere it means there must be a radius and i am considering the sphere of uh, uh, with the center origin radius as r and center as origin so that is the equation of the sphere is given by x square plus y square plus z square equal to whenever we take any real life problem so for a sphere we have to talk about and obviously i have considered the simplest sphere then i can generalize it for any sphere so this is the sphere and the volume of a rectangular solid is 
given by what is the uh, rectangular solid uh, volume it is length into breadth into height so it is 2 length 2 by 2 z it means 8 x by z now what question is saying the word problem it is that if there is a sphere there is a rectangular solid then this volume will be maximum one thing so it means and ultimately this solid will result in a cube so it means this this you have to maximize uh, what you have to maximize this you have to maximize the volume you have to maximize it means uh, on the condition of a sphere it means this is your f and this is this time this is your phi how you decide the condition so what to maximize it is clearly uh, written what to maximize well, volume will be maximum it means my f is 8 x y z this you should know what you have to assume as f and what you have to assume as phi so let as per the if i am applying lagrange method of multipliers i have to I, I should know what is my f and what is my phi so my f is this which i have to maximize on the condition that it is a cube it means x should be equal to y equal to z this should be the final conclusion and phi is x square plus y square plus z square minus r square equal to 0. So, f we got to know, phi we got to know, make a new function, capital F. Put the values as we have, f is 8 x y z and lambda x square plus y square. Take the derivatives del f by del x, del f by del y, del f by del z. Differentiate, if you are differentiating it with respect to x, you will keep y and z constant and the same you will do with uh, when you will do it with y and z. So, x, so it is giving you 8 y z plus 2 x lambda. It will give you 8 x z 2 y lambda. 8xy plus 2z lambda. What to do? Put it equal to 0. So, finally, we are getting 8yz equal to minus 2x lambda. Then, 8xz equal to minus 2y lambda. And the last is 8xy equal to minus 2z lambda. Now, I have one equation 8 x y z that is my volume. What I will do? I just multiply this by x. It will become square it by y because y is missing. Then it, it is by z. And I add up or I equate. I, I will equate because this is 8 x y z, 8 x y z. I am just equating minus 2 x square lambda minus 2 y square lambda. So finally, this negative is cancelled, but 2 is also cancelled, even lambda is getting cancelled. When this is possible, x square equal to y square equal to z square if I am getting, it means x will be equal to y equal to z and what this implies that the rectangular solid which we assume is a cube and the value of the uh, 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 volume because x is y is z so volume will be 8 x y z only that is maximum so this is indicating that this is indicating that the rectangular solid is a cube and has maximum value volume. So, maximum volume will be obviously because uh, it, it will be how much it, it, this, this was the volume. So, if you will substitute x equal to y equal to z, what will be the value volume? So, it will be x into x, so 8x cube or you can say 8y cube or 8z cube, it's just the same thing. It means whenever you are inserting 
any cube in a sphere of radius some radius then 100% that the picture actual picture will be of a cube only it will be just a cube uh, if it is inside a sphere this is the real life problem it means suppose in real life if you want to do it then it is possible only when this is the situation or this is the a condition so lagrange method of multipliers real life problem we have done so in lagrange me method of multipliers in part 1 we understood how uh, lagrange method is basically it is totally different from maxima minima because in maxima minima if simple problem there is no condition there is no condition as such on what conditions we are maximizing but in lagrange method of multipliers on certain conditions certain conditions we are just checking whether the function is maxima and minima there is a loophole also if you have noticed in maxima minima we were very particular we were very sure that if this is the situation 100% the function will be maximum and we, we even we, we can check by drawing we have tools to draw the function and to check whether that function or that particular method is correct or not but in, uh, in this uh, Lagrange multiplier what, what basically is happening if there is some certain condition is coming then we are just saying that it is minima if it is just problem of minima then xyz point we are pointing we are not checking anything we are just saying that this will be minima this will be maxima so there is no certain as such that what on what conditions if only minimum uh, is uh, for this particular problem you can assume i said if it is a sphere then the maximum uh, uh, solid cube will be a cube uh, so solid uh, picture rectangular solid will be a cube but there is no situation where I can find what on what situations it will be a minimum uh, a solid uh, what minimum rectangular solid I can insert so Lagrange method can give me only max max value for a particular value but not the minimum value that is the loophole anyhow but still this method is helpful because re one real life problem we did and it is just showing if I am inserting rectangular solid in a sphere it will 100% be a cube and there are number of problems such problems real life problems which we can solve and which we have solved by using Lagrange method of multipliers. So in this is the end of part 2 in part 1 we did understand what is Lagrange method of multipliers then one example we took and in second part we did the real life problem based on Lagrange method of multipliers. If you want to study this uh, method uh, which is Lagrange method of multipliers for max finding maxima and minima on certain conditions you can refer to the book by S. Chan publishing the ebook link is given in the description box below don't forget to share like and subscribe S. Chan Academy press the bell icon for the future updates stay connected stay tuned keep watching the upcoming videos thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.